What a great pleasure it is uh, to be here tonight and how fitting it is that this award ceremony is being held in the Sydney Opera House and we now quite rightly regard this beautiful building as a masterpiece. It's an iconic architectural symbol of Australia. The point will not be lost on this audience that the creative force behind the design was a person from outside Australia and from a non-English speaking background. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ethnic Business Awards is Australia's longest running business awards program, now in its 18th year as you've heard. Let's give the awards creator, Mr Joseph Assab, a well-deserved round of applause for his drive and vision. And it seems to me that bilingual Australians will play an increasingly important role, not just in business, but in developing and enhancing political and cultural linkages between nations. Meaningful and properly understood communication across national and cultural boundaries is growing in importance. Indeed, the ability to speak with others in their own languages will lead to less likelihood of misunderstandings in a very troubled world. Ladies and gentlemen, in business, devising strategic plans, driving export development, finding new markets, managing staff and taking commercial risks Indeed, all the nitty-gritty of running an enterprise requires outstanding leadership. It's the sort of leadership which has brought Australian companies to their present high point. The businesses represented this evening have contributed to that success by balancing concern for task, quality and productivity with concern for people, relationships and morale. So well done to all involved. I wish the thousands of businesses established across Australia by people who are born overseas every success in playing their critical role in progressing our country as a nation of excellence, the global example. Marlena and I extend to them and to the 2006 Ethnic Business Awards finalists every good wish for the future. Thank you very much.